So what do we do with a colony that's a little late in stores uh, that we discovered, but it's the winter time and you can't feed them anymore? Uh, sometimes you have to uh, get creative, as it were, and uh, that's what I did today. I'm actually, uh, it's 25 degrees outside here, and uh, all my bees are actually up on top. I, I won't be able to do anything here. Oh, shoot. Okay, so all my bees are up top. They're eating, they're, the entire cluster is actually up here uh, eating um, the winter stores. Let me put this over here so they don't get all jumpy on me. I would like to go down and check to see what's down here because I don't think that there's much down here. Um, so that is obviously an option for me uh, to go in there and, and uh, pop that loose. But what, one thing I did, I, uh, I was asking some friends of mine in a group uh, what, I, what, what options I had and uh, guys gave me a few options actually um, to um, add frames of sugar uh, rather than sugar bricks to your colony. And uh, that obviously really is an option that I can, uh, I can get behind. Uh, so what I did was I went out and I I had a couple options. First one was to uh, make a fondant and uh, smear it into the frames. So that's what I did. I actually smeared the fondant. I, I, I boiled it and, and whipped it up. And, and honestly, it really didn't come out any better than mixed sugar. Uh, I can never make fondant very well, but uh, I was able to spread it and stick it in the in the frame here so that's an option but I didn't get a lot in there which was funny but I weighed all these beforehand uh, another option this was actually my idea and I'll show you this I actually made a frame of sugar here uh, I made this like out of pure 100% sugar it's a foundationless frame it has fishing line uh, wire obviously that I, I, I used up thinking that the bees would make uh, uh, comb with it, but I had a ton of these and I was like, well, I could pack some sugar in there and uh, dry it out, see how it works. So here we go, there's a frame of sugar. Now this weighs about just about as much as this. And this one actually was the best one. Very, very easy to make. This was uh, by a couple of guys in my group. And all I did was pour dry granulated sugar in the comb, smoothed it out, took a spritz, uh, spritzer uh, with uh, water, and I just spritzed water uh, on it to get it to stick, and it hardened the sugar in there, and uh, honestly, as the humi humidity, and as you can see, I, I uh, packed it in there pretty good. Um, I weighed these, actually, before and after, and um, I'm getting about 3.2 pounds of sugar per frame in here. And uh, that's a good thing. Uh, you know, rather than the sugar bricks, if you're completely out of stores, one of the good things about this is, uh, is it has mass to it that will act as an insulator on the sides of your, uh, of your hive. So I wanna see about, uh, I was going to actually replace this box, but this is full of bees. I can't, I can't touch this. But what I might be able to do quickly here is uh, take the top box off, set it down. And set this box in its place if all those frames are indeed empty. This is a very, very light hive. 
I can't bump it too much. There we go. Okay. Let me see what I can do. If I, if, if I do have bees down here, which I don't think I do, uh, I might have to abort this, but uh, I'm missing something here. My cap, there it is. Oh, yep, they're down there too. There's not a lot of them down there. Let me see about this actually. I'm gonna see if I can, I'm just gonna replace a few frames actually. Yeah, these are all empty. Bad, bad, bad. Empty is not good. Completely, well, just a little bit of nectar here. That's it for that one. Empty. Honestly, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna put this box in its place. This box probably weighs 30 pounds, somewhere around there, I would guess. But it's all full of sugar. And then I'm gonna shake these bees as I can into it. Okay. Okay. Okay, that made that transition just a little easier. Now I can pick this up and set it down here. Unfortunately, I got a few bees here. Okay, a couple of loose bees. I didn't lose too much. Put that back on. The downside to this is this box from Man Lake is, is larger than this box, but with the wrap around it, that won't matter actually. So now we've got, there's a little bit of honey here uh, I have a couple of pounds of uh, fondant up here, and then and then I got uh, five frames with three pounds of fondant each. So it's only 15 pounds, roughly, I would guess, of pure sugar. That said, it doesn't have the 20% moisture in it either. So that's pure carbohydrates for them which will, should suffice for them uh, in the winter. So we'll get this buckled back up. But yeah, you can see this is completely empty, absolutely, totally empty. Uh, this is one of those hives that got robbed out in the, in the fall. No matter what I did, I could not get them up to weight. 
uh, they just kept getting robbed. I couldn't, I re reduced the entrance as far as I could, but they just kept getting robbed out. So I just kind of had to deal with it. And uh, I didn't realize that, I mean, even after robbing season was over, I kept putting a feed to them gallon after gallon. And, and I guess I just didn't check well enough. But if you're out of honey, I mean, I picked my boxes clean looking for spare frames of honey. I don't have any. That's an option for you. I don't like doing it. It's 25 degrees outside right now. Don't really like doing it then, but after I was viewing my, uh, my thermal images of this colony, it sort of told me the story uh, that I needed to get them some food. Okay. Okay, well, uh, that didn't take too long at all. Um, bees were fairly cooperative. I do not like opening my hives uh, 25 degrees outside, but it was supposed to be in mid 30s, but it never did get that. And I needed to get, I needed to get sugar on this because we're supposed to get some wintry weather here coming up tomorrow. And, uh, i will be running out of time and it will be a big, wet, sloppy mess. God only knows when the next time I was going to be able to get anything on these, on these bees. So, you know, they, they got a big cluster here, like, but it's all, they're, they're, they're all over the, for a, for a hive that got robbed out as much as they did, they sure do got a lot of bees. So that was a little bit surprising to me. Uh, but I was glad to get, you know, 15 pounds of sugar on them uh, that should suffice at least on a lower box for them for a while and then uh, you know if needed I can always add sugar bricks to the top on the feeder shim here so that's what that's for but uh, that thermal mass in that in that hive is important to have um, just my own take on it So I hope uh, the tip was a little bit helpful to you. Uh, give me your thoughts on what you think, what 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 you might have done uh, differently. And uh, the obvious answer is get your bees fed up to wait before uh, winter hits. Uh, that's uh, very that's 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 truth. But there are times when no matter what you do, uh, you just can't. You know, I kept I had buckets on all my hives. And I babied this hive and that hive over there. That hive came back, but they both got were getting robbed out quite a bit. And there was nothing I could do to stop it. I just didn't, I just underestimated the amount of robbing because I actually gave this, this hive two extra gallons of syrup after all the other ones were done just to try to get it fed up. And uh, you saw there's nothing left in that lower, nothing. So they must, must have used it as fast as they, uh, they brought it in. Um, don't know, can't, can't tell you, but till next time, happy beekeeping. Remember all beekeeping is local. Um, I do want to show you, uh, the thermal imaging shots, uh, before I wrapped, uh, this hive completely. Uh, it's really hard to tell where the bees are, um, in here, um, after the wrap is on, but, uh, I did a short video before I put the wrapping on, and you'd be able to tell uh, where the bees were um, in this hive. So.